I mean, this kid's going to inherit a very good metabolism by the looks of Patchy right here. Like, damn, that waistline. Hey everyone, it's Deligracy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am going to be showing you guys my current household. On Saturday night on the weekend, I was playing a rags to riches save file, which I started on a stream last week. And I got so into it, you guys. I played it for seven hours and I was so obsessed with it. Saturday night in, didn't see anyone, was just by myself, didn't record it, didn't stream it. And I was just sitting there playing it for so long. So I thought I would show you guys my now current household because I really, really like it. I did do a vote on Instagram whether you guys wanted to have a tiny build today or if you wanted me to show the current household and that's what you voted for. Keep an eye out later in the week. I am going to be releasing a video where you guys control my life for a day, which is where this video is from. Make sure to keep an eye out and when it does come out, I'll link it in the description down below. So get a tea, get snug, enjoy my current household. All right, so welcome to my current household. We live here in Oasis Springs, which is not a neighborhood I play in very often. So I think originally on the stream, that's why you guys wanted to play here. But this is our house. And of course, like I said, it was like rags to riches. So we started with nothing except for my sim here, Raina Forest. And we called her Raina because we named her after the music we we're listening to on the live stream. Um, Cause we were, we were in a serious mood. We were like listening to forest sounds and relaxing rain sounds and crackling fire sounds like right now. And it, it was a mood, it was a definite mood. So thank you to you guys who came to that live stream. And just to let you guys know, we will also be having more live streams soon. We will have a new updated schedule. So I'll be sure to let you guys know about that when that happens. But anyway, this is our partner here, Patchy. We did get with Patchy and add him to the household. And it's a little weird, but I love it. And I love the fact it's 7.30 AM and we are having cocktails apparently. Crazy family, right? Crazy family. Um, And over here we have Sage Forest who, where are you Sage? It's saying Sage is downstairs, but oh, Sage is coming down the stairs. Of course I want to include the name Sage because it's kind of like that theme of trees and greenery. Um, but Sage is definitely needing something to eat. So I'll get his dad to give him some food. Let's give him a ham and cheese sandwich. But yeah, this is our house. Obviously you can probably tell that I've been making most of our money through um, all of our plants here. And our lemon trees, I think are in season all the time. So they're all around the place as well as our grow fruit trees, which we got the seeds from Patchy. Uh, and then over here, we have a floristry table. I have been leveling up Raina in floristry because um, you can make a lot of money that way. So we make the flowers, then we sell them over here at our little flower station. And we have another patchy over here who helps us take care of the garden every day. So that's pretty much what the household is doing right now. And of course we're starting a family. And then in here we have a lot of rose bushes because we focus mostly on growing roses and also a lot of dragon fruits growing as well. We're kind of trying to grow more and more dragon fruits. Um, but yeah, it's winter right now. It is New Year's Eve. So it's day seven out of seven for winter, which I think means that some of these plants we should be able to bring outside. Um, I think in summer, auto winter, yeah, in spring, some of them. So that will be good. Anyway, uh, did you get, oh, he's sitting by himself over here. Isn't he adorable? I think he's so cute. And he's not a little, he, he isn't a little, what do you call him? Straw man scarecrow. Um, but he he's still adorable. <laughs> it was so weird. I was doing all of these random tweets being like, I woohooed with my scarecrow. I'm having a baby with my scarecrow with absolutely no context. That was the Sims. And so many people like, um, what, what, what is going on? <laughs> Most of you guys know that I play the Sims. So it was all right. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, just, I'll do, I'll do their morning routine, okay? They're having their morning routine. They've had their cocktail, which I didn't actually tell them to do. They're just crazy. We are level 10 in gardening without cheats. I'm so excited. So we do just the big supercell over here. 
Patchy, then like our non-husband Patchy. They have the same name, which is kind of awkward. Patchy one looks after our kid, his son. Patchy two does all of the caretaking. And we're also expecting another baby. You might have no noticed that we are in our second trimester. So that is very exciting. We have 88 thousand simoleons like we have too much money to know what to do with it because i could really upgrade the house um we could probably do like another level of having plants um but i love their little house so i'm gonna give you guys the tour in a second oh my gosh patchy is teaching his son all the cards so let's super sell these lemon trees uh the grow fruits there we go let's super sell them all um we should also look for some rare seeds as well and also check seeds for pockets over here so we'll purchase some more seeds i think and we just gotta you know sell everything now we're up to ninety-one thousand, which means we are so close to having earned two hundred thousand over here in our aspirations that is really exciting. So I feel like I I really haven't been playing this family for long. Like seven hours is a long time, but probably in total, maybe seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe nine hours, nine or ten hours. Um, and I've come this far from literally nothing. We were stealing. What were we doing? We were like stealing uh, things from the museum because uh, what's her name? Raina is a kleptomaniac. So you guys were like, you have to steal stuff. And I felt so bad. Let's see, what did we get? We got, are you serious? We got some bonsais. I mean, bonsais do okay, I guess, but uh, are they even in season? Are you in season? Tell me if you're in season. It doesn't actually say. I feel like bonsais might be okay in every season, but we are beginning to run out of space, you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna put some of these over there. Oh, I'm so silly. I forgot, oh man. I totally forgot to actually pick some of the roses so we could do some floristry. Oh my gosh, hello, you're so cute. Uh, I didn't dress him in that. I didn't I have, I have. didn't actually put him in winter clothes. Um, that's why he looks like a little freak, but I would never dress my kid like that, okay? I know it's a little harsh, but I am harsh to my Sims, you guys. If you're only just joining in right now, then... Oh my gosh! Family goals. I mean, this kid's gonna inherit a very good metabolism by the looks of Patchy right here. Like, damn, that waistline. So in terms of the house tour, we started with nothing. We were sleeping on park benches, which was crazy. Um, it was really sad, because I've never really done the rags to riches in The Sims 4, so it was kind of new to me. I was like, oh my God, my Sim is homeless, and I've got to get them into a house under shelter. We started then with like a little camp bed and a toilet in one room. And now it's kind of gradually grown to this modern home, which I didn't actually spend that much time on at all. Like it just kind of came together. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it in here. You know, it's definitely got that deserty vibe of Oasis Springs, you know, like concrete, warm woods, reds, blues. Um, we've got like a little bit of a rustic thing going on here. So that is pretty cute. And over here we have our little dining table for three. Oh my God, Patchy is obsessed with his son. We've got a little like galley kitchen going down here, uh, the main bathroom and actually the only bathroom. Ew, someone did a stanky in there. Gross. <sighs> yucky, yucky. Um, Sorry, I'll apologize on behalf of my Sims because that's nasty pasty. They need to get some air freshener in there. Or what was it? Um, that like thing that lots of people were um, being sponsored by. I think it was called Trapper Crap. Um, <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Interesting is all I can say. Maybe you guys use it. Maybe you guys love it. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and then over here we have like a nice little <laughs> desk space. Um, yeah, it's kind of cute. We've got a nice bright yellow chair, a little blue rug, and then we have double doors going into the bedroom. So that means business. Uh, my hand's a little shaky today because I just did boxing. And whenever I do boxing, my hand shakes a lot. It's just, it, it, it like goes crazy. Oh my gosh, look at it go. Oh, oh, it's gone still again. This is the master bedroom. And right now this might look a little weird because um, it's a window going into the toddler's room. But I thought it was kind of a cute idea because they can keep an eye on the toddler while he's sleeping and when he's older, they'll just remove the window. Um, so this is the, the little toddler's room. I think it's so cute and it's like super color coordinated, which I never do. So 
that was kind of fun as well. So that is that is the house. Uh, how are we doing, little buddy boy? Let's maybe get Patchy to teach you to walk or something, or teach to talk. I feel like, yeah, we we need to we need to help him grow up a little bit. And then of course over here is just where all of our plants have been. I don't have the beehive. I don't know why I didn't get a beehive. I feel like that was really like dumb not to because it helps the quality of the plants so much. Uh, so maybe I will do that. I'm just gonna kind of make some room over here. I mean, obviously we're gonna get a yellow one because bees are yellow. I mean, we could get two of them. Uh, maybe we should, I'm just thinking we want the swarm to go really close to the plants nearby. So maybe we'll be able to put one just randomly here. That could be kind of cool. Uh, awesome. So now let's get you to go to the toilet. But yeah, we are expecting another baby. So that's pretty exciting. I am kind of hoping it's a girl so we can have a girl and a boy. And I have no idea what Patchy looks like unless Patchy looks the same every time. But I have seen him once on another PC. So if he looks the same, I know what he looks like. Otherwise I don't. So this kid, who knows what Sage is gonna grow up to look like. It, it's a mystery. Um, all right, I think Reyna should throw up. <laughs> throw up in the stanky toilet. Oh, yep, that's my family. That's my current family there. They're doing really well. Throw up again, are you kidding me? We need to clean. I mean, honestly, oh wait, we have a maid, I think. I think I actually got myself a maid. Yeah, so we don't even need to clean. I mean, we should, we should do the right thing. Raina is self-made, so I feel like she would usually do the right thing and clean up, but maybe she's pregnant, she's tired. She's like, I just I just want the cleaner to do it today. So uh, now that I accidentally like harvested all of our roses, that was really silly. Um, I'm thinking that we should go over here and purchase seeds because we are level 10 in gardening. We can get rare plant seeds for $1,000. So we don't know what we're gonna get. I always get nervous because I'm like, I don't know. And one time I opened it and didn't get anything. And I was like, is this a game glitch or is that actually a thing? You can spend 1,000 spoilings and not get anything. Crazy. Oh, we only got a magic bean. We paid $1,000 for a $10 magic bean. Ugh, that's so annoying. Okay, well, let's go over here and maybe bond with the bees so we can, you know, start that happening. Because most of these plants, they're just not evolving at all. Like the dragon fruit plants, some of these I have fertilized, so they're a little nicer in quality. But I'm pretty sure if we bond with the bees more, we're going to get nicer quality plants, which means we're going to get wealthier, which means we're gonna be rich more quickly. I'm kind of keen to try the Rags to Riches extreme version. <gasps> Patchy just became good friends with Sage. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. But I know this is a really random video, you guys. So if this is like, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy seeing this. And if not, I'm totally not offended. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, I just thought some of you guys might be interested in seeing what I'm up to off camera. Also, we have a super cell over here for a lot of lemons too, so we should do that. Uh, can we collect? Oh my God, we can already collect the swarm. It doesn't take long uh, before you can collect the swarm and pollinate the area around the bees. So let's pollinate nearby plants. Go my pretties. Oh, look at them go. Beautiful. Love that. Love that. Oh, what's happening to this little one here? What is that rose bush? Oh, that one's looking pretty sad at the moment. Very weedy, very weedy indeed. All right, well, let's go to our other little bee hut over here and bond with our bees a little bit because we want to get the bees to make our garden look beautiful. Uh, and then I think we should make a few bundles of floristry. Oh, Patchy, no! Oh, it's so sad when Patchy leaves. I'm like, no, Patchy, I wanted to have more fun with you. I'm just gonna do this a few times. She's really tired though, so we might have to have a sleep before we open up the shop and do a little bit of floristry, but that's pretty much what I've been doing every day. And the reason why Raina ended up with Patchy is because she had no friends, because she worked all the time. I was just the cruelest simmer to her, like she just, all she did was worked to, to get her social up. I mean, she was a loner, but to get her social up, she literally just spoke to her plants and 
Patchy, her scarecrow, and then she ended up with Patchy. So it's actually a really, really happy story, okay? So I'm not, I'm not actually that nasty. Uh, and then in terms, I should've done this first, but in terms of her traits, she's a kleptomaniac. She's a loner. She is business savvy because she has the fortune <laughs> aspiration. She loves the outdoors and she's a super green thumb, which we got from the reward store, which reminds me we have 460 points. Hmm. Huh. I think we keep saving. I think we'll save until we get past this milestone because then we'll be able to get something else. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, let's collect this swarm for a second. She's like, oh God, I really need to lie down. I'm so pregnant right now. And we'll get them to pollinate the nearby plants. I don't think they're gonna get very far. I can't even see them. They're literally only, oh no, they got to a few, they, they did not get very far. Like, <laughs> not at all, not at all. But that's okay, let's just super sell these. Um, and then I think we've super sold everything. God, Patchy did not do a good job over here. I think we need to get Patchy 1 to like weed everything that we did not get to weed. That would be nice. And uh, then I think we should have a little snoozle and I will resume when we're ready to open up the shop. Okay, you guys, I've been having a little bit of trouble looking after my kid. Uh, you know, things aren't going too well. My kid is dirty and it has passed out. <laughs> So, um, I think, I think it's time we, we put a, a little toddler to bed. Um, so let's put Sage to bed. Oh gosh, it, it's a crisis. It's a crisis. Maybe I should just leave it right here, you guys. I mean, you get the idea that we have a shop that we open each day. Good night, my little one. I'm sorry you're going to bed, like covered in your own poop. <laughs> so bad, but it's okay. We will, we will help their hygiene in the morning. Um, you know, not every parent is perfect and that that's okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put this family to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this random kind of fun, lighthearted video. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this family and current household, whether it be in a few weeks or the next time I play, just let me know. I might do a little bit on stream as well. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. So, so.